Today our topic is synthesis of ammonia. On industrial scale, ammonia is synthesized by Haber's process, which was given by Fritz Haber, who was a German chemist and was awarded a Nobel Prize for his invention of Haber's process in 1918. Only two raw materials are used in the production of ammonia. They are nitrogen and hydrogen. Nitrogen is obtained by fractional distillation of air and hydrogen is obtained by cracking of crude oil. Cracking is breakdown of higher hydrocarbons into smaller ones, while fractional distillation is the separation of components of a mixture on the basis of difference in boiling point. The chemical reaction involves one mole of nitrogen reacting with three moles of hydrogen to give two moles of ammonia gas in a reversible reaction. The enthalpy change shows that the reaction is exothermic in which 92 kilojoules per mole of heat energy is released. A reversible reaction can never go to completion, so it's impossible to get 100% conversion of reactants into products. However, with the help of Lee Shetlier's principle, we can set certain conditions to get maximum yield. This principle will be elaborated in the follow up lectures. The optimum conditions set for the Haber's process are temperature 450 degrees Celsius, pressure 200 atmosphere. Iron metal is used as a catalyst and iron oxide as a promoter to enhance the catalytic activity so that equilibrium is reached in a lesser time. The flow sheet diagram will help you to get a clear picture of Haber's process. In this, hydrogen and nitrogen from air are compressed to about 200 atmospheres in a compressor. The compressed gases then flow towards the converter fitted with the beds of iron catalyst at 450 degree Celsius. The reversible reaction takes place here, resulting in the production of gaseous ammonia. The ammonia is liquefied by cooling and then stored in con containers under pressure. The unreacted hydrogen and nitrogen are recycled to be used again. Ammonia gas can easily be identified by litmus test due to its basic nature. It turns red litmus paper blue. It can also be identified by using chemicals. A glass rod dipped in concentrated HCl will give dense white fumes of ammonium chloride with ammonia gas. These fumes are clearly visible in this picture. Ammonia is a very important chemical because of its wide variety of use as a raw material in the production of nitric acid, fertilizers, explosives and disinfectants. That's all today's lecture. Thank you.